Last year, the life of Stony Point High School football player Jace L. Favors changed at the blow of a whistle. He injured his spine and was left paralyzed. Now the community is stepping up in an effort to make his life easier. Fox 7's Bridget Spencer joins us in studio with that story. Bridget. Yeah, guys, the community banded together to buy a wheelchair accessible van for Jay Cell. And as you can imagine, his family is thankful and they could not be happier right now. Pep rallies are a staple in any high school experience, an experience that changed drastically for Jay Cell Favors in September 2015. He collided head to head with another player, which paralyzed him. Taking it day by day. But this pep rally is a special one. The Favors family was formally presented with a wheelchair accessible van for J Cell. Before the little SUV picking me up, it was rough on my body. The last year been rough, been very, very rough. Trying to get Jay in and out the van, out the car, to the doctor's appointment. Before the family had to use a truck not properly equipped, putting him at risk for further injury. When the kids start helping me pick him up and I had to start lifting, I said, oh. I gained some little weight. <laughs> Jay Cell's friends started a GoFundMe campaign shortly after he got out of the hospital. They raised 15 grand, but it wasn't enough for the van the family needed. With the help of more than 200 community donors and Wheeler Construction, they made the purchase happen. Football is something like that we like all love, we all enjoy, but it's like to have like this happen so young, it's unfortunate and it's just it's just really sad. Like, it broke my heart to hear that. When we last checked on Jay Cell in the summer, his voice was not nearly as strong. Now, that's a different story. I try to get on my vent at night, do breathing exercises, stay on my cap longer, whatever it takes. You sure can't tell by the smirk on his face, but Jay Cell Favors has been through a lot. This van can help ease a lot of stress for him now. It's a lot of good people in the world. I never doubted them. And his family is hopeful one day. He will walk again. J Cell still has a nurse to come and visit him weekly at his home for rehab. He is able to move his fingers a bit more. The doctor just has not given a firm prognosis right now. Mike. 